All right, we head to Capitol Hill now, and Special Counsel John Durham testifying for hours today in front of the House Judiciary Committee. Released last month, Durham's 300-page report looked at the FBI's probe into links between Russia and former President Trump's 2016 campaign. Correspondent Joe Khalil is live for us in Washington. And Joe, some lawmakers not going easy on Durham today. Absolutely not. It did get contentious at times, Nicole. It was the first time that we heard from John Durham, the first time that he was in front of Congress and the public since that report came out. He largely defended his findings today. Uh, for a reminder here, the crux of what he found was that back in 2016, in his view, uh, the Trump campaign being probed for connections to Russia, he says the FBI did not have strong enough evidence to launch a full-scale investigation at all like they did. That's something that Republicans had been saying for years now, defending the former president. Now, obviously, Democrats took issue with that and really pushed back uh, on his report, on his findings overall. We're going to get to that in just a second. But I do want to start off with more about what John Durham actually said today uh, about his findings. He says that his report itself is evidence of bias in the Department of Justice and at the highest levels of the FBI back in 2016, weighed against uh, former President Trump. He also says his findings were sobering and troubling and that they undermine public trust in those institutions. And he emphasized today that much of the FBI uh, evidence relied on uh, politically motivated sources and that some evidence that cut against the Trump-Russia narrative was intentionally ignored by investigators. Here's a bit more from Durham. The FBI's failure to sufficiently scrutinize information it received or to apply the same standards to allegations it received about the Clinton and Trump campaigns. As our report details, the FBI was uh, too willing to accept and use politically funded and uncorroborated uh, opposition research such as the Steele dossier. So again, Democrats pretty aggressively pushed back on that notion and on Durham's findings. Uh, in fact, uh, it was an exchange that I thought was interesting with Adam Schiff and John Durham, where Schiff basically says that there was plenty of evidence, not just what Hillary Clinton's campaign was providing, but that there were many other things uh, that provided the FBI reason to do this pro. Here's some of that exchange. Uh, you said that it's not uncommon to get offers of help from a hostile foreign government, a presidential campaign directed at the president's son. You really stand by that, Mr. Durham? I'm saying that, it, that people could make phone calls um, making uh, claims uh, all the time that you may have experienced. Are you really trying to diminish the significance of what happened here and the secret meeting that the president's set, son set up in Trump Tower to receive that incriminating Information you're trying to diminish the significance of that, Mr. Turner? I'm not trying to diminish it at all, but I think the more complete story is that they met and it was a ruse and they didn't talk about Mrs. Clinton. Nicole Durham did make some recommendations to fix what he sees as structural problems in the FBI and DOJ, but says it's certainly not going to be an overnight fix by any means. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.